everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review of Luciana Vega, the new girl of the year 2018. She is a Josefina mold with medium skin, arched eyebrows, brown eyes, and some short dark brown hair with a purple streak and side bangs. Her outfit consists of a silver choker, a black cord necklace with a red star, a red belt with a fanny pack attached, a galaxy dress, and some space boots that are in a holographic fabric. Now let me give you a closer look at Luciana and her meat outfit. So here are the pieces of Luciana's meat outfit. Her outfit consists of a galaxy dress, some silver space boots, a red belt with a fanny pack attached, a red star necklace, and a silver holographic choker in the same fabric as the boots. Now let me give you a closer look at all of these pieces. We'll start by talking about the dress since it's the biggest part of her outfit. It is very stretchy and stretches in all directions. It is a skater style dress in a galaxy fabric. It has short sleeves and it has the American Girl tag in this little bottom corner. It's very pretty colors. It's kind of a pink and purpley color. And on the back there is Velcro and it goes down to about here. Overall, this dress is pretty plain, but I do think it suits Luciana really well and really makes sense with her collection, and it definitely looks like something a young girl would wear. So here is the belt. It is in this red color. It has a little silver buckle right here, and then there's a fanny pack, which I really don't like, but the silver buckle looks really nice, and it does Velcro together, which is really easy and, you know, easier than doing a buckle. What I didn't actually know is that the fanny pack comes off, which is nice because I really don't like it. And I think the dress looks um, pretty good with just the belt itself. So here's a closer look at the little bag. As you can see, it has a raw edge here, which doesn't really help anything. Then it opens up, it's kind of small inside, and it just has velcro to close. And here's a closer look at the belt and the silver buckle. Here's a better look at the boots. As you can see, they are in a holographic material, which means they're silver, but they kind of have a rainbow sheen to them. They are just slip-on, they have no velcro at the back, and they have black laces in the front that you can actually do and undo. And then the bottoms are a hard black plastic that have actual kind of a tread pattern to them. Here is the little star necklace. It has a red plastic bead and then it's on a black cord that's kind of like Leah's compass necklace. It has the same sort of design where you can pull the knots and it makes it longer and shorter. I do wish that this had been like a metal necklace with a silver pendant on the end. I think that would have suited her outfit really well and would have just looked a bit more authentic. But I can see a child making this and in that way I can kind of see that it's authentic and goes with her outfit and story. Here is possibly my favorite part of this outfit. It is a silver holographic choker made out of the same material as the boots. And I really like that American Girls made a choker. They're kind of keeping up with the trends that are going on right now. And I just really love chokers. And they have these silver clasps that hook together like this and you just pull them and they come apart. So here's a close up of Lucy's face. By far the most interesting part of this doll is her hair. She has these new style of bangs that are quite long and are side swept. They're a little bit different from Grace's, which I will show you later, but you can see that they're pretty long and if you pull them down straight, they go past her nose. And let me just pull them all down straight so you can really see how long they are. They're pretty long bangs, <laughs> definitely a lot different from like Grace's or Mary Ellen's. They're very easy to sweep to the side and they always look really pretty. I love this style of bangs. I think American Girl did a really good job with it. So if you look here on the left, you can also see that Lucy has a bit of purple in her hair. American Girl added in a purple streak so that you can um, pull a little bit of purple out of her hair or you can kind of cover it up and leave it brown. But I really like this touch. It kind of adds a little bit of character to her and just makes her a little bit more unique. I know it's difficult to see, but you can kind of tell here that the purple streaks are actually stitched in and they're not removable. And you can also kind of see that they start about half an inch away from her face and they go pretty far back onto her head. Here you can see a better close-up of Lucy's face. So you can see that she has the dark brown pinwheel eyes and she also has arched eyebrows that really come to a peak just like Leah's. They're not as straight as 66's or Grace's, they're definitely Leah eyebrows and they're very sharp and kind of plus looking. Here you can see she has the new body type but she doesn't have those really ugly creases that you see a lot of the new bodies have. Her fabric is a lot smoother. And then here's her underwear. It's definitely in a cotton fabric and not the same kind of swimsuity material that you see from the Truly Me's, and it is removable. 
So now I'm going to do a quick comparison between Lucy and my customized 66 doll Piper. So as you can see, they are both medium skinned Josefina mold with dark brown eyes and arched eyebrows, though their eyebrows are a little bit different. And just for reference, Piper has a medium brown wig, it's the Marie Grace wig, whereas Lucy's hair is dark brown. So here again you can see they have the same eye color and skin tone. The biggest difference here in their face is their eyebrow pattern. You can see the Pipers are a lot more straight, whereas Lucy's kind of go up to a peak and then come down to a sharp point. Here you can see that both dolls have the new body fabric, but you can see that Pipers has more of that creasing around her neckline, which I noticed that Lucy's doesn't really have. And Piper has perma panties, so here's a little comparison between the perma panty design and the classic removable underwear design. So here's a quick comparison of Lucy and Leah. I think out of the three dolls I'm comparing her to today, I think Leah's the most different, even though they have a lot of similarities, including their face mold. Um, just so you know, Leah is actually tan skinned, not medium skinned which is just a slightly lighter version of medium skin and she's the only doll that has this skin color. Close up you can really see their differences. Leah's eyes are a super bright hazel whereas Lucy's are dark brown. Their skin tones look pretty similar but their hair color and hair texture is very different. Leah has very long curly hair um, but you can definitely see that their eyebrow pattern is the same. They both have the very angled brows. Here you can really see that Leah is a bit lighter than Lucy, and she also has the old body fabric and the newer swimsuit underwear design. And finally, I also compared Lucy and Grace. I think these dolls have a lot of things in common despite their skin tone difference. They both have the Josefina mold, and their hair color is pretty similar as well as the style. Here you can really see the difference in their bangs. Um, Lucy's are a lot longer, whereas Grace's are quite short, and I'll pull them down so that you can really see. But other than that, they're a similar style. I think really it's just the length that sets them apart. But another thing I noticed about Grace is that she has a lot more lighter highlights in her hair, whereas Lucy's is kind of one tone all around. It's just a dark brown color. And this makes Grace's hair look, look just a little bit lighter. Here you can see a big difference in skin tone as well as new body fabric versus old, and also a slight difference in their underwear color. So as a final note, I just want to say I adore this doll. I love her so much. I love her hair and her bangs, and I think she has a cute me outfit. I think she's probably my favorite girl of the year of all time, because not only do I adore the doll, but I also love her collection. Although Kanani and Leah are very special to me, the dolls more appealed to me rather than their collections, though there were pieces here and there that I liked. Luciana's overall just seems like a really solid collection, and I think she's a great girl of the year. She would also be a really great first doll because her hair is short and easy to take care of and she just always looks cute and she looks adorable in anything. I also appreciate that American Girl brought astronomy into the picture and kind of shifted away from the arts and dance in their girl of the years. Thank you so much for watching, make sure you leave a like and a comment on this video and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!